Welcome to a lovely little area that's not that far away from me on the Gold Coast that's right in the middle of the city and yet you almost would never know other than you can hear a bit of traffic in the distance. So we're on an estuary uh, on one of the creeks here and we've got these mangrove swamp around so a lot of trees here that uh, are adapted to be able to deal with the salt water that they get because of the estuary. So mangroves and casuarinas are what we see most of. There are a couple of gum trees around which are clinging on at the moment if uh, they get too much more salt because this area at high tide and particularly at king tides um, it will all end up underwater and when we did have our floods not long ago there is a bit of debris just scattered through the through this area and the woods uh, from that and there is unfortunately some more erosion along the the creek um, river bank you can actually see the uh, the creeks kind of gradual moving as it goes winds around and there's erosion happening on this side but uh, sand deposits on the other side. This is nature, isn't it? Unfortunately, uh, there isn't a lot of this sort of area left on the Gold Coast. I think that originally before um, Y Man came to, to this area, I think that a lot of the Gold Coast would have been like this. We do have quite a number of creeks. A lot of it is low lying. They turned much of that area into canals and things to deal with the water. So unfortunately we've lost a, a big amount of our this natural habitat so it's an important one to look after and maintain and uh, keep safe. There's so many birds, different sorts of birds in here, uh, little crabs which are really cool, little soldier crabs and um, I don't know if they're here at the moment, but during summer there were a lot of kingfishers and you could hear them a lot, but it was hard to see them. I did, uh, did manage to spot a couple one day, which I think I took some with my, I only had my GoPro with me at the time, which is not the best for shooting, shooting birds. I'm here because a lot of our bush that we have in Australia outside of the rainforest and some you know pretty special trees like antarctic beech trees but a lot of our trees are very straight and tall like our gum trees and they don't have those interesting twisty uh, shapes at the bottom that you see in a lot of trees in uh, in the northern hemisphere but i had noticed this is a spot that i come to quite regularly with my family and there's a little kind of secluded beach that we come for a swim down at the creek here and uh, I had noticed that there's a lot of interesting trees here. A lot of the mangroves have some really interesting shapes and there's one in particular a bit further up that I really had my eye on wanting to shoot but the light was a bit harsh so I thought I'd come back to it. What caught my eye here is the light that's going through and dappling the the grasses and side lighting this tree. I did take a one shot in a vertical composition as well as a horizontal, but the problem with that is you got a bit too much sky in the shot. So I'll pop them both up and let me know what you think. In the end, I decided to do a square crop from the vertical image that I took, which I liked much better than either of the other two. Let me know what you think. So I did a piece to camera here, but didn't realize until I got home that unfortunately, 
I'd accidentally bumped my GoPro and it was on photo, not video. So this still is all I got from it. The main thing I wanted to say about this shot was that I had my tripod a little bit lower than I normally would for taking photographs of trees because I wanted to emphasize that fallen trunk that's in the front. back at the tree that I was looking at and the, it's not good the, the light the direction it's coming from is just not right for um, getting a nice shot it's just too much contrast between where the sun's hitting it and the side I think I need to probably come back either early in the morning or, or on a day when it's overcast uh, I'm gonna start wandering back through the trees and see if there's more that have the kind of backlighting and side lighting that is is showing up really nice at the moment so i found this really interesting dead tree now i've managed to get it so that there's not sun kind of contrast ruining it but it is very flat. I think maybe this might work better early in the morning as well, because then we'd have a bit of sun coming from behind. <laughs> Ideally, you'd have mist, but the chances of mist actually happening down here are incredibly, incredibly slim. So I think I'll just have to come back down here sometime in the morning. Now, I have got insect repellent all over me and the sandflies doesn't seem to bother them a lot. I mean, it's, I don't think I'm getting bitten as much as I would if I didn't have it on, but it's like they find any tiny little bit of skin that you missed and they go for it. <laughs> so it's gonna be uh, just as bad in the, in the uh, morning too. Anyway, what I'm gonna try and do is take this at um, as wide an aperture as I can as well, which this isn't a particularly fast lens. Um, what? I'm about 35 millimeters. I've got a, I've got a 50 millimeter prime, which I didn't actually bring with me. Um, it might be, eh, it, I might be able to use it. There's a tree just here that will probably get in the way, but. Uh, I'll take this at as wide an aperture as I can and see how that goes. Oh man, there are just sandflies everywhere. It's just sandfly city. Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to deal with this much longer. I seriously don't think I can deal with this much longer. I can't do it. They're everywhere. I've never had such bad sandflies. And oh, yeah, I'm getting eaten. Sandflies and me are not good. I don't know if you can see. I end up with marks on me for days. I'm better with mosquitoes. Oh man. All right. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm gonna have to call it a day. I am gonna come back down here in the morning sometime. I'm gonna have to find an insect repellent that does a better job with sand flies than this because I yeah I can't can't deal can't deal might wear long pants and long shirt and things as well. I hope I got something of interest out of this and I hope you enjoyed this this little trip down to a, an interesting little spot. I, I definitely there's a lot more to explore here so I will be back with my camera at various times of the day and yeah with better insect repellent.
if you enjoyed this one, maybe check out this video that I took just really close to my home on a morning when there was a little bit of mist and fog around and uh, it was just a great morning to be out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. It's always good when you do a whole piece to camera and you forget to actually record the audio. <laughs> well done, well done. I've, I've forgotten what I'm saying. What am I saying? <laughs>